Hey guys, this is actually something special. So this is the last video that we're making in 2015. You guys will see it next year, but we are 14 minutes away from 2016 right now, so we thought that was really cool, and we felt like sharing that with you guys. Yep, and guess what we're starting off the episode with? Oh, fuck no. Oh, by the way, guess what's gone, guys? The Karth goggles. He earned the removal of the goggles through sheer character development. Good job, Karth. Good job, Karth. I guess that Derpy's gonna be the new butt monkey. I mean, he always has been. But... However, we're talking to Jolie now. Hey, Michael Richard Kevinson! I don't want to talk about that. Yes, you do. You may mean well enough, but my private affairs are just that. Private. Let me tell you something. Once you've lived as many years as I have, you'll have yourself a long, long list of memories. If you're lucky, most of them will be good. If you're not, some will be bad. If you're really unlucky, some will be so bad you'll never want to be reminded of them again, ever. You'll go far away to a place that doesn't hold any memories at all. And there you'll be happy just to forget and be forgotten. Damn. <laughs> Partly, maybe. I doubt I could ever explain it to you fully, even if I wanted to. Let me ask you this. Have you ever been in love? Truly in love, I mean, and not simple infatuation. Exactly. You're still at the beginning of your life. There will be women in your life. Perhaps many women. But if you're fortunate, you'll find love once. The Jedi, with their damnable sense of over-caution, would tell you love is something to avoid. Thankfully, anyone who's even partially alive knows that's not true. Love doesn't lead to the dark side. Passion can lead to rage and fear, and can be controlled. But passion is not the same thing as love. Controlling your passions while being in love, that's what they should teach you to beware. But love itself will save you, not condemn you. Uh, listen to me go on as if I had all the answers. What do I know of love anymore? I'm just a lonely old man who's not even a Jedi. You do, do you? I wouldn't listen too closely. I'm no authority on anything. I just think that the greatest things in life shouldn't be avoided because they come with a few complications. Love causes pain, certainly. Inevitably, love is going to lead to as much sorrow and regret as it does joy. I suppose there are perfect eternal loves out there, but I haven't seen any. And how do you deal with the bad part of love is what determines your character. What determines the dark side's hold over you? I haven't changed my mind. I'm still not going to talk about it. You go and find your own love if you want to know so bad. <laughs> Dating day. advice from Sometimes Jolie, everybody. Hard you try. You and the one you love simply aren't meant to be together. The trick is to know when that is. To know when it's time to fight and when it's time to part ways. <laughs> there I go, waxing philosophical again. Somebody blast me already. Let's get going before I start talking in riddles. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to hear him speak in riddles. That sounds amusing. Kevin Michael Richardson in riddles. Oh my god, yeah. Kevin Michael Richardson reads Go the Fuck to Sleep. <laughs> that would be beautiful. Am I hey, speaking the love of divinity. <laughs> Damn, sometimes I wish we had face cam. <laughs> In our time together, I've been watching you. You are a true servant of the light. You follow the tenets of the Jedi Order despite the lure of the dark side. And with so little training, for me, it has always been a constant battle. Don't you find it difficult at all? You make it seem so easy. Or is that only an illusion? And that's enough for you. I just do what I think is right. If only it were as easy for me. If only the right path was always clear. I've always struggled for control over my passions. I've always been too quick to anger, too quick to get involved. My instructors constantly berated me for it. I've often dreamed that I might be able to confront Darth Malak myself. I dream I can use all this power I have to kill him and stop all the death and destruction. I just think about all the evil that the Sith have caused and I, I get so furious. Yet we are told that these feelings are the path to the dark side. I do. 
part of me thinks that it would be worth anything to vanquish evil, even if it meant giving in to my base emotions. The very thought that I could become as evil as Malak, I just can't fathom it. It just doesn't seem possible. I mean, how could I... No. Wait, I'm sorry. I shouldn't even be asking you this. The Jedi teachings are clear. Who am I to question them? Even worse, who am I to try and make you question them? These are dangerous thoughts. The indulgence of a vain mind. Please, forget I ever mentioned this. Let's just return to our mission. Fine. We're gonna go somewhere, though. We're gonna go back to Tatooine. After we spent the trouble and time to get to Manan. Hosh, fool. We have a space battle to deal with. Ah, oh, <laughs> fun! Hey, look, I'm blasting things. Such advanced combat. Go away. My tactics are foolproof. Just spin around and around and click endlessly. And you will be saved! Get back here! Spinning in circles. The best of tactics. Would it help if I chanted die? Maybe it helped a little. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. No. We failed. So what we exactly? Failed. We failed. We didn't fail. <laughs> but fuck that reference. All right. So what do we have to do here exactly? I have something I wanted to buy. Ah. More like I kind of wanted to go. Eh. Karth Onesi, is that you? Jordo? It is you, isn't it? I knew it when I laid eyes on you. You old space dog. How have you been? I thought for sure you'd be fighting on some ship out there. I was. I crashed. <laughs> That's pretty rich. I can't imagine what it would take to keep you on the ground. Must have something to do with your friend here, eh? How's it going? Nice to meet you, Jordo. What are you doing here, Jordo? Last time I saw you was on, um, well, Telos, actually. Yeah, it's a shame about home. Tilo still hasn't recovered. The family and I moved on, and I'm working for Zerka now. Oh. I didn't see you after... What I mean is, my condolences on your wife. I heard what happened. At least your boy made it through all right. My boy? Y you mean Dustin? Yes, of course. I saw him at my last stop on Korriban. Though he didn't recognize me, you... Didn't know he was there? No. Jordo, Dustal's been missing since the attack on Telos. Are you are you absolutely certain it was him? Yeah, I'd recognize Dustal anywhere. Positive. He's um he's joined the Sith, Garth. Oh, oh he's joined the Sith. Shit. There's an academy for the Sith on Korriban. He's a student there. I saw him suited up in their outfit and everything. Sorry, I thought you knew. No, no, I Shit, I didn't. Garth. Well, thanks for telling me, Jordo. Sure, no, no problem. Good to see you again, Karth. Hope everything works out with Dustal. Dustal, Dustal is alive. We, we have to go to the Korriban Academy and find him. I understand. We'll I, go as soon as I, possible. I, I just have to see him. I have to know what happened to him. All this time, I thought he was. He must be a man by now. Damn, Karth. Do can anything go right for Karth? So his friend joins the Zerka and his son joins the Sith. Damn. Uh, doesn't look like his friend has changed much. He's just working for Zerka. Yeah, but those people tend to be assholes. Here, I need mission for this. We're gonna go see uh, Dushnik. Uh, Dushnik. Uh, okay. <laughs> Sup, Basil. Hey. Yes, I did end that quite abruptly, didn't I? Yes. The master could have addressed my questions with the proper wisdom, but I never should have brought it up here. Not with you. Part of my purpose on this mission was to guide you in the way of the light, to help you avoid the temptations of the dark side. But I fear I failed in that task. I don't think I'm the proper Jedi to guide you. 
I know, Master. You should have remained with the Council. I disagree. Perhaps you're not being truly objective then. There's no need to spare my feelings on this point. The fact of the matter is, I have never. Zerker representative. With the bond that joins us, it seems. I love our battle is just way over there. The path of the light side, but it has been in spite of my influence, not because of it. It's increasingly obvious I am unable to guide you properly. It's kind of you to say, but I think the evidence speaks for itself. I think I may have made a very big mistake. I simply hope that you are not the one who pays the price ultimately for the fact that I can't help you enough. That's a kinder response than I deserve. And I can see there is wisdom in your words. You, you continue to be there for me, don't you? Even after I keep pushing you away, you're still around when I need you most. You're like no man I've known before. And you're nothing like what I expected you to be after, after the Council sent us on this mission together. I need time to think about all this. Things are... They're not going as I thought they would. We should continue on with our mission for now. She's still a bitch. At least she's trying. I don't like the sound of this. Oh my god, Griff. Why do we help this guy again? I'm not surprised at anything else. <laughs> it's the worst of plays I've ever had. <laughs> Damn it, Griff. Won't you ever learn? How can my own flesh and blood be so stupid? I had to tell her he's sorry. He doesn't have my sympathy quite yet. Hey nope. There. What can I do? I want to thank you for helping me with Griff. You, you did everything you could for my brother. More than most people would have. I know it might look like it didn't make any difference in the end. Griff's in debt and on the run like usual. But at least I know we tried to help him. I know people can change no matter how bad they were. But uh, I'm not holding my breath. None of us is perfect, but I've come to realize that Griff is a little less perfect than most. <laughs> My brother is what he is, but I've learned to deal with that. I'll never well, forget he is a dick. I was just a kid, but I don't feel like I owe him anything anymore. It's 2016, everybody. Yay! I've made my peace with Griff and what he means to me. If he ever shows up again, I'll deal with him. But I'm not going to dwell on my brother anymore. It's time to move forward. So, is there anything else you need? Okay. Light side points gained. So I actually just want to come here to buy a bunch of computer spikes, actually. <laughs> Did not know that all of that shit was going to happen. <laughs> so what's next for asshole? I mean, Griff. Ooh, and a mesh underlight. I don't know. It, it, is he still going? Nope. His quest is done. Good, let's never encounter him again. Fine by me, bro. Yeah, no, I came to Anchorhead to buy a bunch of, uh, stuff, and also go into the hunt, uh, no, not the hunting lodge. Somewhere else has the other parts of that armor that I would want. Oh, well, I'm sure we'll find it. Uh Bastel will save us. Ronto. Good job, Ronto. Best character. Best character is Ronto. Strongest personality of them all. Ronto. Stronger even than Derpy. To the Evan Hawk, everyone. Oy vey. We going to Manan?
I believe we are. As soon as everything stops clipping. Corban, Manan, Dantooine, Kashik. Fuck! And we end how we began. With yet another space battle! Because why the hell not? Well that one ended considerably quicker than usual. <laughs> didn't even have to chant die 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 die. Well we're back here on Manon. Basil, do you have anything to say? You've been patient with me, haven't you? I suppose you deserve an answer. You have to understand how difficult this is for me to say. With all my training, I should be able to control myself better than this. But you're not like anything I expected. You're not like any man I've ever met before. I find myself watching you when I don't need to. I'm thinking about you when I don't want to. It isn't supposed to be like this. Every time I try to call on all my teachings to calm myself, they fail me. You have such power, such passion. I don't know if it's due to the bond between us, but... I'm drawn to you. <laughs> the starship won't fly. As is your power, but that's not what attracted me to you. It's more than that. Maybe it's the bond we share. It gives us a certain intimacy. If I could, I would return to Dantooine. I need to be away from this bond of ours. I need to weaken it. I need to be anywhere but near you. But Malak must be stopped. My own feelings are nothing when compared to. I know this could affect the sake of our mission if it's not resolved. I can't let that happen. I think... I think we should have some privacy for this. Come with me. You're stronger than... Hey, it's that one room we, that we don't use ever. When have we been here before? I hope. In some ways you... We haven't. Uh, I was wondering why I didn't recognize it at all. You make me feel stronger, more alive. I realize now these feelings are part of the bond we share. The Jedi Council surely realized this. They knew my loyalty to the doctrines of our order would be tested on this mission. By facing and overcoming my feelings for you, I've learned a valuable lesson about control and the dangers of emotion. This is an important step in understanding the Force. I'm sorry if this is not what you wanted to hear. That it was important you know our infatuation was nothing more than a result of our powerful power. That's bullshit. The shating of the bulls. You're the one who can't face the truth. Malak has to be stopped. How can I do that if I let myself be blinded by my feelings for you? You, you mean it, don't you? But how can I be sure you're not making a mistake? I, I have to resist. I have to be strong for both of us. But I don't... I mean, I can't. Malak will... <gasps> this sounds like a line from a cheap romance movie. <laughs> Shut up and kiss me, you babbling fool. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, God, I turned into Tim Curry. <laughs> That's George Takei. Oh, my. It was, it was a moment of weakness. We shouldn't have. I'm sorry. No, I know we both wanted it, but we shouldn't have given in to our desire. We're Jedi. We can't act like this. Not now. Not when we still have to deal with Malak. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I don't blame you, but it was a mistake. I have to get out of here before somebody sees us together. Oh, we. Wow, she just kind of ran. <laughs> well, actually, wait, that just ended Basil's quest line. We've kissed Bastila. Yes. <laughs> okay, now that was Tim Curry. <laughs> Why did you leave the Jedi, Jolie? Who said I left the Jedi? Well, technically, I was only a Padawan. Not that that makes a difference to most, but that's for the Order itself. No, I never left it. It left me. <laughs> you know what I hate? 
Most people view the Jedi. Everyone thinks that the Jedi are perfect, that they can do no wrong. They think the Jedi Council is completely incapable of injustice. I guess you aren't as stupid as you sometimes act. <laughs> no doubt you've been on the receiving end of Jedi justice at least once, eh? And I'm not even talking about how some of us fall to the dark side. No, that's plenty indication of our fallibility. But it's something else entirely. No, I'm talking about how more than often not, your average robe-wearing Jedi can try to do the right thing and still be completely wrong. <sighs> I suppose I'm not being very clear, am I? Come to think of it, I don't have to be clear. Someone my age is entitled to ramble, damn it. For <laughs> your sake, I'll try to explain. I'll tell you a little tale about a Jedi master I once knew. Hortath, I think. Or was it Hortoff? Ah, I can never get it straight. Hortath. <laughs> Where was I then? Oh, oh yes, Master Hortath. He was a kindly old Jedi who meant well. But the most mere-sided thing in the core, I swear. He would walk into walls, knock over tables, shake apprentices for rancor beasts, that sort of thing. Wow. And he was too proud to submit to proper treatment. Some used to counsel him in the urge to use the Force, Master Hordath. Allow the Force to see for you. But he refused to believe that his eyes were failing. He simply squinted more and more as the years went on. The other Jedi resignedly passing it off as the amusing quirk of a compassionate old man. So, one day a young Padawan meets Master Hordath in the courtyard and, not knowing of his blindness, asks him for directions to the council. Quite sure of himself, Hordath gave the lad directions, which happened to lead back outside and away from the Enclave. The Padawan is confused, naturally. He asks if Master Hordath is sure, and of course Master Hordath says that he is. The Padawan suggests that perhaps he should have asked someone else. But the proud Hordath now feels insulted. He tells the Padawan to take the route he prescribed and no other. Rather dejectedly, the Padawan did as he was told, and so ended up leaving the Jedi Order forever. It was decided that the boy's fate was to leave the Order anyway, though whether that was out of respect for Hordath or because the boy went on to something else, well, we'll never know. I feel like he is the Padawan. Not much. I never knew the Padawan nor met Master Hordath himself. He was before my time. Oh. Wait, no, he said that he knew Master Hordath. The tale is about blindness, and I thought the point was clear. At any rate, you think about it. You're the one who asked why the Jedi left me, remember? Now let's get going. My feet are itching for a good run. Next time on Knights of the Republic, we might actually do something but talk. That would be nice. Bye. Bye.